What's going on everybody? <sighs> Today, um, I already did it. I already installed the oil relocation kit. I didn't video it because I wasn't sure how long it was gonna take. And I didn't wanna spend hours upon hours editing because um, I'm still learning that process. But I got it installed. I haven't started it yet to verify that everything's working, but I just wanted to run through real quick and show you what I did. So. The parts I got are from ICT. I will put links for them in the description, so be sure to look for them there. But it's the uh, ICT harness and the ICT uh, oil pressure relocation plate. Um, I, don't, I don't think that's the exact name, but again, it'll be in the description. So anyways, for those of you guys who have an LS base engine, this is a 5.3. Uh, you know it's a pain in the butt to reach the, the uh, oil pressure sensor, which is located sorry for the light back in here um, which can be a pain if you have big hands luckily I got smaller hands so it's a little bit easier for me but anyway all I did was disconnect the harness and plugged in plugged in, plugged in the new one um, you can see it here so mine mine is a 2007 Suburban it does have the the weird like a uh, three prong connector. So um, anyway, I ran it down behind the engine and I'll show you here in a second where it's connected to. You can see right there, right above the oil filter. Mine, it has a little plate. I'll show you here in a minute. Um, from what I understand, if you have oil lines that run off of the side of this plate, you cannot use this kit. It's only if you have the plate alone with nothing coming off of it, you can use it. There is the new sensor and the plate. I can't get the light in here very good. I ran it up along the transmission here, kind of along that bolt. And as you can see, it's, it's going up the back side of the engine here. Um, probably can't see it too well, but that's how I ran it for now. Hopefully it doesn't give me any issues. I do recommend that you install the oil pressure sensor before putting the plate on. It's a little bit of a pain to do it with it or already on the vehicle, but it is doable. You just have to have a high tooth ratchet because you, you have little wiggle room in here. And obviously if you have a one and a 16th inch wrench, you're not gonna be able to fit it up in here. Uh, so definitely the, the proper oil pressure sensor socket and a high tooth ratchet and you can do it with it on here um the tool that i use to tighten those bolts down because i have a four-wheel drive obviously drive shaft in the way there is this little guy right here um i do not remember where i got this i think it's a craftsman or some cheapo depot from uh i either got it from lowe's or from harbor freight but you can get these easy it's a ratcheting style uh it's a 5 30 seconds bit at least for this kit that i got so um i will show you the plate here in just a second that i took off of here okay here's the plate um as i said it's just a block off plate uh, i came factory on it the, there's you can see it's, it's a metal gasket i didn't reuse it because the the kit comes with an o-ring seal on there so i don't think it's necessary to reuse the gasket i'll find out here in a minute when i start it up um and it's just two 10 millimeter bolts that's it so fairly easy i think i think overall it took me maybe 30 minutes uh, after you know fighting with everything it could take you longer depending on your skill level and uh you know how much difficulty you have based on the size of your hands <laughs> again i have smaller hands so it's a little bit easier for me to fit mine up in there and you will lose uh you need an oil pan because you will lose a little bit of oil whenever you take that plate off right there so just make sure you got your oil pan underneath to catch that oil and you'll be good to go so Let's fire it up and make sure that our gauge reads here and that we don't have any leaks, of course. Definitely wanna make sure we don't have any leaks. My cluster, the founder of Tele... All right, so looks like we got pressure. Let's take a look underneath. Make sure we're not squirting oil. Anywhere. There you go. 
All right, so one thing that I forgot to cover when I was doing the installation process, wasn't able to get a chance to take a video of, was on the adapter plate here where you see the O-ring. This area right here along the edge is kind of sharp, so you need to be very careful when you're putting in this O-ring, because if you're not, you will cut it, and then eventually you're gonna be leaking oil. It could be right away, it could be a little bit down the road, you won't know it till it's too late, but you need to be very, very careful when installing this O-ring, because it can cut the O-ring, it can also cut you. So that's one thing that I just wanted to address real quick when installing this. Other than that, pretty, pretty simple installation for the most part, for me anyway. Also, the other thing is I, I put this hole to face up towards the engine. The factory oil pressure sensor does thread right into this. There is no additional adapter needed. It just threads directly into it. So you don't have to worry about purchasing something else to get it to fit inside of there. Just make sure you tighten it down enough to where the crush washer on the sensor itself is completely up against it and is nice and sealed. 